Hey guys, Amy and Brian here, Colorado Mountain Living. We got another big weekend of flooring to do this weekend. Uh, we're in the kitchen now. We moved on past the bathroom. We kind of showed you the wrap up of how the bathroom turned out and now we're using the same tiling to do the kitchen area. This was all the tile that was outside on a pallet that Brian carried in and he's kind of laying out the boards right now. Tile boards, board tiles, ceramic tile boards. <laughs> what are they? <laughs> ceramic boards. <laughs> ceramic boards, what the heck are they? Uh, so this is, th yeah, today's project because, why is it so important to get these flooring's uh, done? These cabinets are coming Monday. Cabin, kitchen cabinets are coming one day. So we gotta get the floor done. Wanna get the ceiling done, but gotta get the floor done first. Um, so yeah, that's today's big project. And Brian just barely came back because he picked up, boom, all of the rest of the hardwood floor for the living area. Kinda looks like a tool area at the moment, but this is where all the rest of the hardwood floor is gonna go here and upstairs. So we've got uh, a little bit more to show in the bathroom. Hello, can you say nice looking tub? Of course, I was cleaning earlier, so there's a bunch of crap in the way, but uh, it's me a nice little cozy soaking tub. And it's nice to show on video now because it's not all full of dirt from being outside. Tomorrow's project, installing s switches and outlets now all our drywall's done so brian's showing me how to use his um meter what do you call it what kind of meter is that um volt meter volt meter volt amps only. so so, that's so it's on 200 ac volts mm -hmm. that's where you want to put it okay. you want to put those little How come there's four wires? I thought there was only supposed to be one of each color. No, because the this it feeds from feeds into this one and then the other set feeds out of it. So that's why you have to have four. And it looks like there's a little stop there for the wire so it doesn't spin. Oh. It's super muscles. Mm-hmm. So here's where you can just shove it in the hole. Mm-hmm. If they're stiff, I wouldn't use the, the drill to do it necessarily, because okay. it'll easily strip it out. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's good. Okay. Right. First one done. First one. The bathtub arrives. <laughs> this is an exciting moment. Getting delivered by tractor to the front steps. Oh boy. This is going to be something else. Using these to transport it. Yeah. 
Nico, are you gonna get a bath in the bathtub? <laughs> hmm. Probably never. Hmm, first foot on. folks the brand new tub and the brand new bathroom on the brand new floor looking good can you see the grout in there not too obvious I like it it's a Turkish or Moroccan stained glass lamp so it kind of has this bronzy and then it hangs down three separate bulbs so that's kind of the style let's see if I can get the window light through it to so that's kind of one of them, and then one green one, and then one blue and white one. Or, yeah, anyway, it's gonna be pretty. Hanging up there, three glass, stained glass bulbs hanging down. Gonna be cool, guys, gonna look really neat. Okay, I put together the lamp, but... So, sparkly stained glass bulbs, gonna be cool. And it hangs up like that. My arm's not quite long enough to get the whole lamp into the shot, but kind of get the idea here. And um, some of y'all wanted to see the grout finish, so let me see if I can. It's a neutral color grout. It's like a brownish taupe, Bahama mocha, beige. Bahama beige. We've got a lot of dust footprints, but. You know, it's not an obvious grout. You're not like, oh, here's the tile and here's the grout. It kind of blends in. So that's kind of nice. Anyway, getting there, getting there. Time to work on this kitchen floor. So the strategy on the kitchen floor, well, one thing that's cool is that there's no angles to cut, right? It's just like one big square in here. So it's just all gonna get laid out. Maybe a little cutting here around the kitchen sink, but pretty. A little bit faster than the bathroom job since there was so much cutting and so many angles. So this one should go quick, even though it's twice the area, more than twice the area. Oh, and then let's see what else we did this week. I uh, went ahead and put in all the outlets, but I realized I ran short on one. This is a 20 amp outlet that's probably going to have to be uh, GCFI because the sink's right here, and I don't, I can't find one of those. It's not really old and gross looking. But all the switches up, that was my project this week, is uh, getting all of the switches and all of the outlets in. So, oh yeah, here's our little border, stone border, which is gonna go between the kitchen and the living room area. So we gotta figure out exactly where that's gonna stop and start. Yeah, because the, it's 12 feet, three and a half inches across. So it's four tiles in a little bit. And then we might make exactly 24 tiles across, but we might have to trim, so. Well, I thought, yeah, the trimming the stones, like the width of it wouldn't be as wide as those squares, but maybe just like a few inches, like a thin. Well, maybe, but it doesn't, it doesn't tr like, Trim very easy. You have to just cut right through it, and it probably oh. wouldn't work very well. Yeah. Um, I was trying to see if there was some kind of a line in there that would <laughs> zigzag around. Mm -hmm. Not too bad, but otherwise it would be 
I have to trim another one of these and run it this way. Right, and, and then you have to think about the baseboard too. Or is that gonna, would that go on top of the baseboard? It just goes on top. Mm -hmm. well, but if we had, let's see over here. And that there, and then that there like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it looks better on that side of the hardy board. Yeah. And just keep this whole square area tile. Yeah, so I can just, I'll just trim on these lengthwise. Mm -hmm. So a few of you expressed some concern because we put down the tile backer board before the drywall was done. Well, I used this wire brush on a broom handle uh, and a vacuum cleaner. Made quick work of the uh, any of the dust and uh, debris that was on the floor, and uh, now we're good to go, ready to get tiling. I'm going to start over on this end. I got my chalk line already put down. I'm going to. I need to cut the piece up against the door real quick. <coughs> I've already cut several of the half half length because it's going to be pretty even. Uh, now what I did decide to do over here is I'm going to actually start the tile up against the wall, run it down, and it's going to leave about a three and a half inch gap on this side. <coughs> now that is where our cabinets are going to go, so you're not going to see that for now. And when we do pull out the cabinets later on to make our walkway right through here, then I'll just cut a, uh, a piece uh, to go right along the edge there, um, all the way down. So that should cover that up. I will have to trim this one just a hair because this is about uh, three and actually I think it's about well, it'll be about a four inch, four and a half inch. So this is about four and five eighths, right where that drain pipe is. So once we pull that drain pipe out. Um, so there'll be a little bit extra cut there, but I don't think anybody's going to notice. Nobody but me, anyway. So, anyway, let's get started. So the first thing you got done after your lines was uh, you had to get your tiles so, cut. Right, so it's pretty even across, so uh, what I did was I just cut a bunch of them. I mean, 26, there's about 26 rows of tiles, so I needed to have, because we're, we're doing like a brick layer like we did in the bathroom, so it's offset half of a tile. So, uh, I'm gonna start with a, a full length tile first, and then I'll go with, then I'll be, the next one will start with a half tile. Um, but what happened was I was cutting them through, is that I'd get almost all the way through, and then the tile would actually crack. And so that was a pain in the butt. So, no, no masking, no uh, making up for that. No, so so one side was okay because it would I could just finish cutting it, but now I've got several that have these slight um, breaks in them. Now this one I don't know we could maybe super glue it on. Maybe yeah, you might not be able to tell that one. But some of the other ones they, you know, mm -hmm. that one's not too bad. Mm-hmm. Um, and then like this one here, this was a little bit longer break. Yeah. You know, you can't, it's really it's about a quarter inch, but it goes back about two and a half inches. So, anyway, I don't want to waste, I don't have that much extra tile that I could just... Well, do you think, uh, what causes that? Is it because it's such a long piece of tile, or, or who, maybe is this the just nature? Maybe it just gets, I don't know, it just gets the machine shaking and it just vibrates it until it cracks it. So yeah. What I started doing was scoring the, the, with the tile scorer, uh -huh. and that seemed to work a lot better. Mm -hmm. So you can just uh, score through the mm -hmm. uh, the cut line, the ceramic coat. I don't know what the, the enamel. Uh huh. The enamel. And then, uh, that seemed to work better, but anyway. So well, that's rotten. Glue that piece on. <laughs> That's where we're at with that. And some of them, I might be able to, some of them I can put up against the wall, they'll get covered by uh, trim. Mm -hmm. But there's only a couple areas that 
will get covered with trim because there's so much wide open on this side. And right. The other side eventually will have a piece of tile next to it. But hmm. anyway, you just don't want it to look crappy, right? <laughs> Not in your perfectionist <laughs> world. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Brian lives in a world of perfection yeah. and beauty. <laughs> I have more leeway in my vision, but Brian does not accept mistakes, even if they're a uh, half I mean, There's stuff that there's mistakes and there's, that you can hide, and there's yeah. mistakes that are like, oh, what the hell happened there? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just ripped through all their tile and they just... You want to show, you can show them a good mistake. Go look at one of the beams I have up there. Oh, yeah. A big screw up mistake. Oh. Just, you can't cover Okay, up. upstairs, here's Brian's big mistake. Timber joinery, mistake 101. So, doesn't quite fit into the, I mean, this is. I kind of, I kind of too, too short, but I did. Oh, okay. So the big line right there. The, the tenon is fine, it's just that he's making the tenon too long. Okay, so there's a big gap. So what would you do to hide that? So I'm gonna probably cut a piece of, just to cut a, a piece of, uh, to the spur, uh -huh. one inch, and stain it, and then glue it in there, and it'll cover it up for you. Yeah, we could have done that, and no one would have known. Anyway, so that's hiding in the back corner of the loft here. We'll just catch it from this angle, and it's like, you can't. <laughs> There's still that gap, though, because the beam is twisted. Look at it on that side. Yeah. It's kind of twisted in that. Yeah. And Mortis. Yeah, and twist a brick. I got pretty lucky with most of them. That wasn't a lot of twist. I did. I had to kind of uh, compensate for a little bit of it. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't too bad. Yeah. The Any, floor ones were the worst. The floor, yeah. Probably because they sat there. Right? Well, this one's a little bit. This one's got a little gap up here. Yeah. Yeah, that's but, what I, had to, I compensated for. I cut and kind of square it off on the top of the bottom. Yeah. Hmm. Although for for first time timber frame, it actually went together pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Amazingly well. So. Yeah. Why is that good to put on the cracks? Uh, <coughs> Strengthening zone keeps it from you know developing a crack a crack <laughs> a crack along the. Um, you don't need any crappy cracks. Right there. So, Somebody had made a comment about something about the. Yeah, they had commented about doing that. And I had done on a part of it, but I didn't do it under the part that we had leveled. Yeah. Halfway down, it cracked a little bit. Oh, jeez. Getting right to it, wasting no time getting that tile down. Let's see how fast we can do the kitchen. More than halfway done in less than an hour. Was it less than that? Well, it's about an hour. I mean, since you started gluing them, I think. Right. Well, yeah, and then you get all your pre-cuts done. And so you just glue and stick, glue and stick. The tricky part is the last few rows where you're running out of space. <laughs> good, good thing you're long. It's a brand new floor, but it, it looks like an old floor. What, what? what the hell? <laughs> Look at our brand new old look floor.
Well, folks, that's a wrap for the weekend uh, and this week. So I kind of put everything together in one video, kind of getting a little bit lazy on the videos. But the most action kind of happened in the last couple of days as far as the floor is getting done and Brian's finishing up the last couple of pieces of the stone trim at the kitchen. So kitchen floor done. We are ready for next week. Next week's going to be huge, getting our kitchen cabinets in. Ooh, it's going to really transform the look in here. So hope you guys enjoyed. We, I know you're excited for us. We are excited for us. <laughs> and catch you at the next video. Bye, folks. <laughs>